And in some ways, throw back What's going on YouTube? Chris, they Just coming back with a quick block. video here. Well, it's to um, these days. This is going to be a video on what I think personally is wrong with the NBA 2 Right here is just uh, some of my career gameplay. I'm not a starter yet. I haven't really played too much of my career. Uh, but anyways, not too much on the gameplay if I can call out anything. If I do anything great. But anyways, what I think is wrong with NBA 2K nowadays due to the fact of just everything. The game itself is way better compared to its competitor in NBA Live. And by what I mean by that is NBA Live graphics are nowhere near as good. Honestly, it hurts my eyes to play. People try and argue that sometimes, but it's literally garbage. But coming to NBA 2K, it's just the problem of, we're just going to start with my career mode right now. The constant cutscenes and other things that have when you want to start a new character. I know a lot of my friends, we make different really characters because if we're playing my park or and Dave Yeager, uh, a meticulous my coach, playing a together as a group, and and say well, our normal say point person who plays point guard isn't online, well, we're going to need a backup point guard, so somebody will have to save the character. Games. When I go to make a character, I want to have the option to skip all the cutscenes, because that's like an extra 30 minutes of just nothing. And that is so annoying to me, because I wouldn't mind making two, three characters, and then... And Brian you know, kicks to Labis here. Oh my goodness, he didn't. Back to Bryant. <coughs> he didn't go for the dunk. But anyways, and off the, front, uh, and in the it fact goes. that I have to sit through 30 minutes of cutscenes just to make it a Let me skip those. Let me just play the high school or the college game and go to the NBA. That's all I want to do. And that would just make that part of this so much better. 56 seconds left to play Another problem I have <coughs> with uh, my career Powell is that they don't really help you out in the, the fact the in of VC. No you don't good. get much VC yeah, for them. You, one, but well, depending on your big team. Really um, when you play some games, you're getting like 300 and all that. that. So and the time it takes to layup. get the VC yeah, up to max out your character is, is like young. ridiculous. So with the basketball. You would have to sit here to play this nonstop and roll it up. I know they don't and want Joseph people at max right Ross. away, so I understand that to some degree. To but it just takes so long to get enough to do it. And how many practice sessions you would have to go to if you're just looking Shot to play the five. game for fun Here's to get it is also ridiculous. The uh, unless you know no ways around it. The way around it in this game was to just keep doing the uh, jumping exercise in practice instead of actually playing. No one and that hurry up and got you to where you could have played your character. And he's good on the three ball. But mainly for the but my career part, I don't have, those the are the only he's complaints on the I have. It's not really that bad. I'm glad they're somewhat putting oh, a story in. But I wish when I go to make another character, I have the option of skipping that. And a chance to hear from point guard Kyle Lowry about the chemistry of this draft. 30 different times. Or for 30 minutes you just know, to, you know, came in get through that. <clears throat> but then the next, is this is a big complaint that I've had for many is, years, is and it's very evident to me because um, I'm not a very good 2K player. Give it more time? And I completely I mean, agree with this. I know this. Square, or you could argue it you know, people Kevin, don't have to just sit there ways, and act like they're the best player in the world to see this happen. But when I'm here losing a game coming into the third quarter, I'm losing by quite a bit. As much as they don't want to recognize that there's this, there's like an algorithm to you're down by 20 points. Well, we're going to you know help you catch back up. You're going to go on like a 10 point scoring streak. They're not going to be able to score, and it's just going to go like that. And I've seen that happen a lot. Um, if you check out the only full game play I have on here, I was winning by about 19 to 20. He would come back, and I couldn't make a shot for the whole time. I'd be losing the ball on something dumb. It would be nothing. Uh, that happened one time, and then my lead went back up to about 15 again. Granted, the guy was playing double-T gaming. Um, he's really good at 2K. I know he's better than me, but it was just a random time he was having a bad game, so I was winning. It happened twice, and I seen it, and the second time we played, it pushed us into overtime. And I was like, are you kidding me? If I lose here, I'm going to be so annoyed. But I just hate that. I think if you're losing, you should lose. If you're winning, you should win. I understand that they don't. They try and make it fair to everyone. But it's kind of like the Mario games where, oh, you're losing by like half a lap. Well, we're going to rubber band that person back to you. So that way, you're only going to be losing by maybe a quarter of a lap. To where if they make a mistake, you're back in. Oh, that was a terrible pass. Uh, 
So that's one thing I hate. Get rid of that. If you're losing, you should lose. If you're winning, you should win. And there shouldn't be any, you know, trying to rubber band people back together. And sometimes you can pull away with the game and just go over that by just dunking all the time and things of that nature and break through that. But I have problems with just doing that. And how was that a foul? He kicked me in the leg. Anyways. So that's just another uh, thought I have on that to get rid of that. Uh, whenever this other things, I game. think if you're playing online, they should go for more of a, of shots from the you know, for the my team. And uh, looking at how DeRozan gets his points last I believe so. Uh, that is a lot of fun. The 5v5 game that you can do and stuff like that. A ton of fun. And I enjoy those a lot. But I think they should either not limit how you can create your players. So if I may, in this character on the small forward, my shooting can only go so high. If I think you're going to do that to players, Here is Lowry. then and he really played well you should balance Kevin. how many players can be on the team or something. Like, because when we go and play, DeRozan. they're going to have all six, four, the left you know, shooting guards or point guards or sharpshooters. And, and I'm not going to be able to do nothing against them because they're going to be lighting stuff nice on the outside. By the King. And he gets That's a little weird. I should see him Cousins he's on the King since he's not there anymore. But oh, and just I think they should win at that. that. I think no if you're going to have, you know, centers as glass cleaners, then you should have to have a center, power forward or something. You can't have four power forwards that are built like LeBron James running around in the corner. That's just crazy. It makes that so unenjoyable for everybody else. When we get in the game and we see they've got three seven-foot-tall players and then two people who can shoot, well, of course, they're going to keep pounding the glass and then they're going to sit there and... Yeah. And I sit down, pound the glass, and then just keep Cousins tossing it back out for the three. three the That's all that's going to happen. It just goes on for forever. Also, it should be balanced matchmaking. I have a problem with joining into a game where my team's record is, you know, say we're 10 and 5, you know, not a bad record, not great, nothing like that. And then they sit there and. That he can be impossible to slow up. He still has yeah. great bulk oh, to his game. Okay. He has no problem uh, going they just sit there if he needs to. and give us a team that's got 80 wins and four losses. That's Every not really realistic. I know that run, it's always not going to be balanced when you know, we have 10 people or 10 different teams Soldier only trying to find a match at that time. They're going to put you with just anybody to play. I understand that. Don't have a problem with that. But if they would just work on, on more second. balanced matchmaking, be a lot better. Now, the only complaint five. about the park. Incredible I don't play park for a whole lot, so this is one of the things game. that I have a complaint on in Bring the it park. In, let's go. When we're sitting there, and you have two people, because if you don't know how a park plays, you join in, hey, play a match. If you win, shape, you keep going. Now, no matter how uh, much we go and up, that means that people line up on the other side of the court to play. A group can come in, has... and there's a group section where one half of people who have three people or however many people they need to play the game can jump on and just play. If they're doing that, I believe that they should personally, if there's two people on the spots and then a group right, comes in, then the group should wait. Um, if the group gets there first, of course hey, they should get the court first. But how it works now is if you have two people basketball. sitting there and they're waiting on one more, and then the group us. jumps on at the last second Do while you're, your somebody else is joining gas, on, this is then it kind of just takes it away from you. I hope that that makes a little bit of sense there. I just think a if there's people waiting the outside bridge, somebody there, the group should have to wait maybe Sacramento. 45 seconds from when they get on to give us a chance to get a third player. Because uh, if not, then it's just all the time. Groups are just taking the courts. Comes in for Rudy get very annoying. Young is subbed in for Ty Lawson, and Toronto also making a switch. Corey Ooh, Joseph checked in jumper. for Kyle Lowry, uh, setting the floor. For another the thing that I wish they would look into is when you were, when I was playing my team earlier. I said my team, and it's but when I'm talking about forward. my team, I mean the created teams. Uh, one Rosen thing they should look into there is putting toppers on their packs, like uh, uh, NFL does or Madden does. Um, when you buy a certain pack, you get a topper. The right they did put this in somewhat now during this uh, game, which is pretty good, which I enjoy. But I think they could do a better job of it. And holy crap. Uh, I think they should do a better job of that. Because sometimes the topper is just garbage. And I'm just like, well, they have come out of I the guess it's better than nothing, but it's not great. 
And I will do a video on things that are good in. And Joseph uh, kicks to DeRozan. We'll do a video on things that are good in this game because I do enjoy this game quite a bit. It's just some of these uh, things. Very slow the constant cutscene so after every game. I'm just four four like, so really, far. I'm trying to go Inside. on to the next game. And Coley Stein throws it down. And actually, right now, oh, there's a VC glitch that I may go over in another video. So if you're watching this far and you want to see that, let me know down below. Uh, but that's just some of my thoughts on it. Hopefully, you enjoy or agree with any of these things. Let me know. Um, tell me what you think that they could do to make the game better. And anyways, peace out. Thanks for watching.